Good morning, Cardinals. It's Wednesday, October 7th. My name is Josh Cartwright, and here's your morning news. Now, before we get into it, I would like to share a joke with you guys today. You ready? Why do we tell actors to break a leg? Because every play has a cast. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump right into it. Today for lunch, we will be having chicken drumstick, mashed potatoes, country-style gravy, wheat rolls, fruit, fruit juice, romaine salad, and milk. Students, it is time for the students to vote for the October Teacher of the Month. The poll is posted to your class of, whatever class you have, Google Classroom. Voting closes Friday, October 9th. Homecoming Spirit Week. Next week theme is, there's no place like homecoming. Theme days for homecoming. Monday will be lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my! Dress up as triplets. Tin Man Tuesday. Dress up like a robot or spacey silver sparkles. There's no place like home Wednesday. Wear pajamas. Twister Thursday. Wear mismatched or inside out clothing. Ruby red slippers Friday. Red out. This year, the National Honor Society will be supporting the homeless using the slogan TLC. TLC stands for Tuna, Love, and Coffee. The NHS will need your help bringing in donations. They will need tuna or canned meat and coffee. They are doing this until October 31st. Please drop your donations off in Ms. Rogers' room. Any type of donations are greatly appreciated. Students, here are some upcoming test dates that you might want to take note of. The ASVAB test will be given the morning of October 15th. Students need to sign up in the Counseling Center. PSAT will be given on October 14th to all sophomores at no cost. Any juniors that would like to take the PSAT will need to sign up in the Counseling Center and pay $17. Once again, this year, the Arkansas School Boards Association is holding a personal essay or speaking contest for high school juniors and seniors where the winners, winners will have an opportunity to present before an audience of more than 600 school board members and administrators during the 2020 ASBA Annual Conference, which will be held December 9th through 11th, 2020. Students will write to a specific topic shown below, and there are rules and guidelines for the contest that students must follow. There are cast awards for the chosen winners who agreed to present, present during the conference. They are first place of $1,000 cash prize, second place of $750 cash prize, and third place of $500 cash prize and honorable mention of $250 cash prize. The topic will be identifying and discussing what weaknesses and what strengths the coronavirus pandemic is exposing in our society. Students can find the application in their class of whatever class you have, Google Classroom. Deadline to enter is 4 p.m. at October 23rd. Sophomores and juniors, school picture day for the 10th and 11th graders will be October 22nd. That's a B-Day. 2021 yearbooks are now on sale for $40 until December 31st. You can order online or bring cash or checks to room C107. The price will increase to $45 in January. And if you do not pre-order, the cost will be $60 for any extra copies that might be available. The yearbook will be better than ever this year, so don't miss out. Speaking of yearbooks, did you miss your chance to buy a 2020 yearbook last year? We have an extra copy. For $50, you can grab last year's amazing yearbooks from Miss Flora in room C107. Seniors, now is your chance to order a senior rec recognition ad for this year's annual yearbook. Orders must be placed by November 13th to guarantee space. Ads can be ordered and created online or ordered in person from Miss Flora in room C107. Check out the post in your class of 2020 Google Classroom for more details. Attention all Cardinals, we need your help collecting photos for the yearbook. Do you have any pictures of your summer adventures? How about your FOCO pictures? Does your mom have any photos of your cross country meets or golf practices? We want to include all your mass free faces in the 2021 yearbook. Submit them at images.johnstons.com using the code shown on the screen. Photos must be submitted by December 15th, 2020. DECA will be having a meeting this coming Thursday at 7.20 in Miss Skate's room, D101. Anyone who would like to attend is invited. 
Farmington Junior High School Cheer is selling 2020 homecoming t-shirts for $15. Orders and money are due today in the office. Make checks payable to Farmington Junior High School Cheer. The Arkansas Department of Education is hosting a statewide poster contest designed to promote cyber safety among Arkansas public school students. Prizes will be awarded to the winning posters. If you're interested in competing in this competition, email mishbush at kbush at farmcards.org. FCCLA members, your FCCLA membership dues are $15 and have a deadline of October 21st. Please make sure the payments to Miss House. Fellowship of Christian Athletes will be sponsoring the third annual Fields of Faith tonight. The event will be held at the Old Farmington football field on Double Springs Road. You must wear a mask. You must practice social distancing of six feet apart unless you are in a family group. This year, even more than in the past, we will be celebrating our students and their talents. We will be having a guest speaker from ESPN, NBA champion, Mr. Adrian Branch. We look forward to seeing you smiling behind your mask tonight. See you there. If any other teachers have any other announcements you would like to have added, please email or contact Mr. Dean or fill out the Google form that was sent out via email. Well, that's all I have for you today, Cardinals. Up next, we have Lance Williams with the latest and greatest in sports. Thank you, Cardinals, and have a worldly Wednesday. And remember, wear your mask. Thank you, Josh. Now let's get into some of the latest sports scores and updates. I'm Lance Williams in the Card Center. Up next for the football team is the Moralton Devil Dogs this Friday in Moralton with the kickoff at 7 p.m. If you can't make it to the game, you can catch all the action on live.farmcards.org. The boys' golf team is at Cherokee Village Golf Course in Hardy, Arkansas today competing for the 4A state championship. We would like to wish the Cardinals the best of luck at state. The Volley Cards were back in action last night to face off against the shallow Christian Lady Saints and came up a bit short in the contest, dropping three sets by scores of 23-25, 16-25, and 21-25. Next up for the Lady Cardinals is the Pea Ridge Lady Blackhawks in Pea Ridge tomorrow night at 5.30. The Cardinal tennis team was back on the clay courts Monday and Tuesday of this week for their conference tournament and what a week they had. On the boys' side of things, the boys' team won their conference title. Connor Sharp and Taylor Robbie in the doubles action and Omar Dan in singles action all qualified for the state tournament. The girls placed fourth overall in conference and the doubles team of Kaylee Thomas and Grace Webb qualified for state as well. The state tournaments will be next Monday and Tuesday at Burns Park in Little Rock. We would like to congratulate the tennis team on their accomplishments this season and wish our state championship competitors the best of luck at next week. And finally, your cross-country teams will be back in action this Saturday when they compete in the annual Springdale Schools Invitational at 9 a.m. Well, that's going to do it for us today in the Card Center. Have a worldly Wednesday, Farmington, and remember, wear your mask.